Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today I have an Asa Abloy FAB Profi One Star. <laughs> I'm using the reflection of the camera to get it in there. Um, this thing feels great. Uh, the pins inside, definitely security pins. Uh, it feels great to pick. There's decent feedback on it, which a little bit unexpected for an Asa Abloy. But, uh, oh. Oh, that's just our, I was going to say, you know, all right, that's, gonna, that's our tension setting in place. So we're just going to stick a pick in and let's have at it. Pin two. Pin five. Nice set on pin five there. Pin one. Pin three. There we go. There's our open. So definitely some spools in there. A nice and quick open. Let's get, we'll get home. We'll gut this. We'll see how this compares to our uh, our two star once we get to that as well. But yeah, these are nice locks. Again, thank you to my friend in the uh, Czech Republic for for doing such a great deal for me. Anyways, let's take a look around. We're in Utah, and this is Kodachrome State Park. Really cool area. One thing I like about a lot of these areas is the little camping spots they have set up for people to camp in. And I'll show you this one. It is right over here. So yeah, a bunch of camping spots down there. And what's gorgeous about this place too is at night, the skies are just, they're clear. There's nothing but stars, the Milky Way, the galaxy. It's its gorgeous. But yeah, let me get home. Let me get this for you. Ask the Abloy FAB, five pins, great feeling lock, and I will talk to you all soon. All right, we're back home and I already have everything gutted. Just because Euro cylinders are a real pain to gut. You can see that we have mainly three spools for our driver pins, two standard, and all the key pins are standard pins. And this is our ASA Profi One Star. Uh, be aware when you're gutting it that the the plug does have these uh, segmented areas in here, so if you're trying to pull this out, be careful not to have it sideways to get anything caught in it. And um, I want to actually show off some of these 3D printed accessories real quick. Uh, really cool. So these are front loaders for um, reloading Euro cylinders. So this one right here has all the holes in the top for the pins. And has this little stopper here, so you put all your driver pins in there. Stop. Stopper stops right there. Push them around, and you line them up with the uh, the Bible there. You put your pinning shoe in like that, so it fits right inside that. You can see how it fits right there. You pull that out. You're, sorry, I'm trying to do it in an angle there. Your pinning shoe stays in right there on top of your driver pins. And it's the same way with. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be using one of these because I found out I just tried it. This one. I need to reprint the holes are a little bit too thin um, but this one's the same way it is a front loader so you stick it in and you can see right here actually that's zoom in see in the front right here you can spin it around and so there's pin one you pin that and then you turn this and that'll get covered up there's pin two turn pin three pin four pin five all the way in the back once you're done you keep spinning and same with that first loader as well. You can see that that's thin enough where the drivers don't shoot up, but thin enough for our pinning shoe. So that's what we're gonna do, is we'll stick our pinning shoe right there. Because at this point, we would have all of our driver pins in there, and then we would just pull this out, and there it would go. And then we'd just slip our plug right in. I decided to show how one of these 3D printed uh, front loaders work. And so I already have this one pinned up, this side pinned up here. Let's see if we can get that to focus. 
there we go. So you can see the loader's in there. All the driver pins are in there. We have our um, pinning shoe there already. Stay there, don't move. Uh, this is why I can't stand Euro cylinders. We have our uh, key pins in there. And you can see that they are all flush. And so I don't know how else to do this part um, because honestly I'm an American and I don't, and I'm not a locksmith. <laughs> so uh, to do this, we take this out right here and you can't have the key in or else that pinning shoe just does not fit. And this part makes me nervous. This is just crazy about Euro Sunders. You just shove the dang thing in there and um, when it turns, it works. Hopefully, so there we go. All right, we got it seated in our tailpiece now. That's what made it go all the way flush. So we can remove our pinning shoe and go. Oh damn, I might have to take it out and reposition that, but that's okay. I didn't think about that because the way that was positioned, but there we go. All right, that side is pinned in. So we'll put our Actually, I won't put C-clip on because I'm going to reposition that. And this side is keyed differently. Let's make sure it still works. Yep, there we go. So there is our repinned S Aploy FAB Profi One Star. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.